that's very useful. We can we can look at any web page and search for things in, for example, a title tag, or we can look for things in between any other given tabs. Uh, we could look for a, a table, for example, and run through a table and create our uh, own bit of text stripped uh, from that table and put in, for example, into a block structure and maybe sent into a database. Um, so this provides a way to go through uh, data that's formatted in a way that's not native to Rebel and, and quickly convert it into a format that we can use. Uh, this next example we're going to actually, uh, it's gotten a little bit outdated. What this is going to do is it's going to go through and it reads, um, it parses uh, the information on this, this web page. Uh, and again, we're going to search from the title uh, to the ending title tag. We're going to copy that to a variable called my IP. And then we're going to parse that IP, and what used to be on this page was a, a little dash, um, and we're going to go to the end, and what used to be contained on that page at what, whatsmyip.com uh, was your IP address, the IP address of the machine that, that went to that website. We're going to copy all that information, that IP address, uh, to the variable stripped IP, and then we alert the user, um, and we trim that stripped IP so there are no spaces, and we and tell the user what their external IP address is, what their IP address on the internet is. That's a way to retrieve uh, the external IP address. And that's just going to read the DNS. You've seen this in the past. Read the DNS, um, the local IP address. And uh, in this case, we've uh, noticed that if you go to this website, uh, open this up, uh, if you go to this website, it'll say, no longer the case. So I found another website here. When this tutorial was written, we used to have a title tag. If you went to whatismyip.com, um, you would see a website that had a title. They no longer do that with their title tag. You don't see your IP in the title anymore. They found a new website that, that does that. And um, that is what whatismyip.org. If you look now here, you see whatismyip.org. You go to the um, title and it's got this long title that says what is my IP address.com your IP is and then it gives your uh, and it gives your uh, IP address at the end so our code is going to be adjusted just a little bit we're parsing the page that's read there and getting all the information out of the, of the out of the title so now we've parsed that web page only so we're looking at this text up here in the title and we're going to parse that from this text we're going to go from that text your IP address is looking for that and then we're going to copy that to the end uh, into a variable um, called stripped IP and then we're going to uh, alert that to the user trim so there are no extra spaces in it and I'm going to put that into rebel we get our external IP address and our internal IP address so it's going to be very useful uh, for working with text files or any sort of files where we want to actually uh, always get uh, an organized bit of data from that page by searching through it for various um, uh, for various uh, conditions. Uh, this next example um, goes through uh, a file that's requested from the user and it removes all the comments by uh, searching, uh, searching for this character, the comment character, and it uh, builds a block here, where, uh, or it builds a bit of code here, where that's parsed out. Um, that came from a, a script here. The idea for how to do that came from a script in the rebel.org library called uncomment.r. Uh, it returns that, uh, copies it to a um, uh, bit of code, and it parses it out and then it puts that in the editor so you can read the, the parsed code. So you can do very useful things like that. We wanted to remove comments that could, for example, be used to reduce the file size or um, get rid of a lot of extra text. Uh, we could strip out text from a, 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 any sort of text file um, according to a given rule. So here we'll, we'll take a uh, file from the hard drive Look at our, our text that comes from there. We'll take our rebel embedder, and this will uh, show us all of our code 
now without any of the comments that were in that original code. So for example, uh, here if we look at that original file, you'll see that that had quite a quite a few um, examples. Let's look at the embedder two, which is what we were looking at. And there were there were a number of comments which now have been stripped out using the parse command or the parse function. No longer in that code. The parse is very useful and one of the reasons that that rebel is, is useful in, in a whole um, uh, world of applications. There are some more uh, tutorials here you can read about parsing at CodeConscious and at rebel.com at, at these links. Um, it's a powerful and useful way to deal with data of all types in Rebel.